It is 1.29 a.m. on Sunday, September 25th, and Stanley and I are out for our first walk of the day. It is 69 degrees Fahrenheit here in Gainesville, with clear skies above. Well, tropical depression number nine yesterday became Tropical Storm Ian. And it is projected to become a Category 4 hurricane with a likelihood of it coming to Florida during the middle of this week, perhaps Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. So we will have to see how that develops especially with the big Al Margolis apartment music and or Racket Fest weekend coming up next weekend. I'm not really worried about any tropical storm or hurricane. In all of the years that I've lived here in Gainesville since like 92, we've only had one hurricane that really caused any problems. Mostly, we just get a lot of wind and rain here in Gainesville if there's a hurricane. I think the fact that Gainesville is at a relatively high elevation helps us to avoid a lot of the worst effects of tropical storms and hurricanes. At the location where I live, at 4230 Southwest 20th Lane, the elevation is 70 feet above sea level. The only kind of flooding we could potentially get here is from the uh, nearby swamp and drainage ditches and uh, creeks, streams, tension and retention bases, basins, basins, can you say basins? There's always a first time for everything. Always a first time for everything. Always a first time for everything. Always, there's always a first time for everything. There's always a first time for everything. Always a first time for everything. Raphael told me this morning that Tropical Storm Hermione caused him to lose his electricity for a couple of hours. That's no good. And the rain from Tropical Storm Hermione caused fog in the Canary Islands where Raphael lives. He told me it's hard to even hear. Blech. It's hard to hear even in this fog. It's hard to hear even in this fog. It's hard to hear even in this fog. It's hard. It's hard to hear even in this fog.
Additionally, Storm's rights groups have protested the binary naming of Storm's and have called for recognition of the gender fluidity of Storm's. Gender fluidity of Storm's. The gender fluidity of Storm's.